Alrighty, welcome back. We just completed the first level of Oceana, which was a nice trip to the beach. It's not going to be that pleasant on the second time through, though. Coral Cave is a pretty big level with a lot of danger. Must capture five monkeys, and there's only eight here. But they're spaced out pretty far away from each other. Also another level with really cool music. And sharks. Giant sharks. I'm all for it. And a monkey riding said giant shark. Chip. Little juvenile delinquent. Yeah, I guess so. He is riding on the back of a shark. Then we got Oreo, who loves a secret flame. And a secret flame. I guess we'll have to... Come on, I want to see who his secret flame is. Oh, I saw it. Yeah. Kalama sees ultraviolet colors. I guess they're made for each other then. He loves fire and she can see all sorts of fire colors. So there's already three of our five monkeys here. And the fifth one is actually right over here. No, not here. Right up there. That guy. He's a bit of a doozy to get to, though, so we'll have to keep all of our platforming skills going. Clear out these little nuisances. So here we are. We have a bridge. A super hoop out. Yarg! Where'd your buddy go? Could, could he not handle it? I think if I remember right, he goes for a swim. Either that or he just disappeared. <laughs> Puddles. There he is. He's born out of his mind up there. Okay, where is that other... Oh, there you are. Right, these shark ones are kind of a doozy to catch. Because uh, the sharks want to eat you too. Thankfully they don't one-shot you. And they're pretty easy to dodge. But they do take off a good chunk of health. But you think he'd be thankful we got that monkey off his back? And right, now we can just avoid him. So this isn't a lot of room for sharks to swim either. You got your great white over here and the hammerhead over there. That's all the space they got. Hopefully, there's some cookies up here. Yeah. I don't even care about what you drop. Now, this monkey isn't really hard to catch in terms of his, you know, abilities and all that. It's how the climbing mechanic works here. It's really hard to get that double jump off of that IV to get onto the next set. So you'll be landing in the drink a lot. Again, worst goes to worst, we'll come back at a later time. Oh, got it. Guess we just gotta climb all, all the way to the top. Or not. Alright, we'll come back for him later. We'll get a gadget later that'll make getting to him a lot easier. Plus, there's plenty of monkeys inside the coral cave. Sharky. Oh, shush yourself. 
right at the exit. One of those bomber frogs. Guess what? I've discovered something. The color of the monkeys' pants show their abilities. According to my research, monkeys in yellow pants are your common normal monkeys. That is true. I feel like it's a little late in the game to start explaining like, hey, not only do the monkeys have stats, but you can tell from a distance. Bong bong! Has a real bad attitude. Not only is he on alert constantly, but he's quite aggressive. I don't think we want to fight him. Not that we can get up to him anyways. Let's continue onwards. Got some more cave watermelon frogs. Yeah. 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 Hey. Get back here, you. Yeah. Right, I want to know, how did the monkeys get giant anchors and attach them to the ceiling? Alright. Run! Yeah. Yeah. At least these guys you can yeah. spawn camp them. Yeah. Give me a cookie. Yeah. Let's get back up there and... I guess you're supposed to do it with the hoop. But I wanted to be special. Got him before he got into his UFO. That's a shame you can't just like hijack it yourself. It's like, oh come on. Alright, we're gonna take the safer route. Not too many more apes left in here. Oh yeah, this guy, Pickles. He's not too powerful on his own. But he's driving without a license, and that's pretty dangerous. Plus, he's operating the cannon on that sub, which means he's a little boss fight we're gonna have to take out. And he's also yeah. one tough cookie. I think it's like seven or eight hits to take out the sub. And I believe we're gonna need that for it. Oh, hey, I can do it this way. I guess I'm outside of his field of vision. This is the easiest I've ever had with this fight. <laughs> okay, all the monkeys I've been saying are stupidly difficult. I've been having a really easy time with. Guess maybe I've just gotten better? Hey, another Spectre coin. I also saw there was an eight. Eh, if I can get back up, there was an eight right above him too. Oh, there was. I swear I saw his foot. But we'd be fools not to go after this guy after the fight we had to do. And by fight I mean non-existent fight. <laughs> Tell me every time. Alright, let's go on to the final area of Oceana. It is a shame that these areas are only three levels long each. But since you have to come back later to 100% them, I guess it is nice that they're huge and have a lot of extra stuff you can come back to. Now we've got Dexter's Island. I feel like this should have been in the Lost World. Not Oceana. Six monkeys, no trouble. I'm going for it. Boy, that's not ominous at all. A giant slumbering dinosaur. Split his skull diving. Oh, Stu. Stu. Poor guy. Wondering where he is. Poor Tauntaun. At least you, you know, aren't dead. This is a very small level, you would think. It's like, oh, nothing here except for a giant dinosaur. Maybe we gotta fight it? Yeah. 
What a great discovery, Spike. We've found a completely unknown creature. I've named him Dexter. Do you like it? I think it suits him. I mean, that's not a very scientific name for a new dinosaur. Unless it's like Dexterous to Murtius. Get here. Hey there, big guy. <laughs> Looks like there's a couple apes here. UFOs have landed, but we only see two, and there's three UFOs. So, interesting here. The current's too strong for us to swim out. But there's a way to get around that. Oh, wait. There will be a way. The way is trapped behind that fence. Break our way in. Yeah. Good thing those yellow monkeys are an easy peasy catch. There we go, we freed the sea turtle. Now we have a platform that works in the water. Wait for me, turtle buddy. Uh, what are we hanging on here? It's become clear. Monkeys in blue pants are very fast runners. Catch them before they get away. No, he says blue. There's actually two variety of blue monkeys here. Light blue and regular blue. Oh, come on, you can't... There we go. Also, they're so fast, they're kind of glitchy. Let's just let him come to us. Also, the camera does not make this very fun at all. Let's give us some room to maneuver here, shall we? Gotcha. Two monkeys down. Doesn't look like there's much else going on here. Hiya. Excuse me, turtle buddy. Hiya. Now, the game doesn't tell you to do this anywhere, so it's like, it doesn't feel like you would normally do this, but you're supposed to strike this creature. Yeah. And then one of the coolest levels in the game happens. Crawl inside. We're inside of Dexter. Also, how big is Dexter that he managed to swallow a ship of that size? Either we got shrank or Dexter's huge. And even though it looks like we shouldn't be able to, you can totally swim in this stuff. No trouble. Get ourselves another Spectre coin down here. Antibodies. They'll home in on you and try and absorb you. Also, this place is a huge maze, so be careful while you're in here. Barrels make no sense. Ah! Not so close to the top, too. I don't think you can make those jumps easily. Oh yeah, another three one up. And more antibodies. Thankfully they die after they hit you too, so I guess you don't have to worry about them too much if you've got the health. Right, let's try and climb you again. I feel like this is the uh, all the textures here are from one of those uh, maze screensavers from the 90s on Windows computers. Or at least just a skin for it or something. Yeah, I'm not making that jump. That seems like a terrible idea. I do see a blue light, though. 
I feel like you should take damage for staying in the stomach acid too long. Oh well. Alright, here's a monkey that we can't get. You see this tiny little opening, you think, oh, can I crawl through there? You look like you could. Your body's practically already through it. But no. You gotta come back with a later gadget that lets you enter small gaps. Though, you could... Some of the monkeys that are in dungeons like this... This guy, apparently not, can be tricked into crawling through there. Allowing you to catch him earlier. Right, let's go through this and see what we get. Bunch of pustules. It's a black belt in judo. Horoki. Yeah, he looks like a nice strong monkey. We should totally try and catch him. Also, he screams at you. Uh, so much easier to catch this guy if you didn't have all these bouncy bounces. More missile launchers, too. Aw, oh, that would have been a caught capture had I not... Yeah. yeah, these are the most aggressive monkeys in the game. But they're also predictable. They have to stop and attack every couple steps, so you can just wait it out. But they drop bombs, they shoot missiles, they got an Uzi. Very dangerous. So we need one more. Guess we'll go through this tunnel up here. Hopefully we're not entering the one exit I don't want to come out. Don't get lost! Thanks. Can I break through? Nope. His gut wall is just too strong. Ah. Now we're in the jelly bean stomach, it looks like. Like, I feel like these textures, they just like, alright, take some pictures of some weird human internal organs, and we'll make the level textures. That is really cool, though, a giant dinosaur eating you. It's a giant, weird, one eye monster. It shrivels up, though, if you beat it up enough. I feel like that's there's some sort of dirty innuendo I could be making there. I guess this is where his lungs work? It's like a piston up and down, pumping air throughout his huge body. Makes as much sense to me. <laughs> and he ate some cookies, too. This big guy must be really hungry. The normal bullets in your, sling your slingshot are pretty weak, but they're just strong enough to spook the monkeys. Maybe even knock them down if they're on slippery ground. Get the hint. Also, now that there's fresh water in him, is he like in a... This is bile. Gotcha. The game doesn't tell you, but white pant monkeys are the most alert. They will run really far, really fast, and they can see you a mile away. Come here, you. Yes! Are we coming out the butt? I bet you we are. Thanks. I'm gonna say that every time, aren't I? Alright, well, we finished up Oceana now, so I think we'll cut the episode off here. Until next time, stay beautiful. Stay beautiful, friends.